resume. Excellent. There we go. And here we are. We are being recorded on another Monday night. Jeez, oh, Daphne, you're having some trouble with that. Three times. But we will see if any one of them comes through. So here we are, Monday evening, our usual jump into our caffeine and just have one cup because of the health benefits. It has been a great time for us in this business in the last little while. Here's Miss Daphne with four attempts. So let's get amongst this because we do have a bit to talk about. Remember, we've got some new packs, Tupan, Vu, Avanoc, Tupan Tea Drone packages, and all brought to you by Zanique and Sophia. Those two companies do different things, but they work hand in glove. Zanique is the technology, Sophia is the people business. So welcome, everybody. We hope that we give you something to talk about and take home. Stop video. There you go, Daph. Um, we've gradually got Daphne into the system. So here we are, 26th of June. Yep, just check that. It's the right date. Amazing how that happens when you remember to actually check it before you start. That's very cool. So here we go. Everyone goes forward together. That's our tagline and we mean it. Remember, we're expressing our view as affiliates only and we're not representative of those companies and we're not giving financial advice. We hope that you enjoy the webinars and we hope that you get something out of it and if you can choose to take advantage of some of this information good work lots more coming so remember over and above everything else zanique is the blockchain sophia is the people business now at some point we will be moving all of our AU4U systems onto this blockchain. And once that happens, it will make a massive difference to how we go about doing business. Tupan, I love this project. Wish I could afford to buy a whole lot more Tupans. Avanop, the airline project. T-Drones, City Real Estate, regardless the movies. AU4U, the security of metal. AU4U green, and now the new VU system, which is the front end of Avanoc. Both of them are really out there. They're, they're going to disrupt the airline industry a heap. And it will be interesting to see how the industry itself copes with that. Because lots of times disruptive technology comes in and we get led down a garden path and it goes nowhere. And one that immediately springs to mind is the fact that here in Queensland, where the sun comes up every day, we have a lot of solar panels on roofs. To the point now where the government is beginning to realise there's a problem. All these solar panels are putting more energy into the network during the day than is actually being taken out. So it was a great roadmap to just get everyone to put solar panels on, but they didn't think through the outcome. So our glorious and illustrious government is installing batteries in the middle of Brisbane to soak up some of that energy so that, that they get for free from our solar panels so that they can sell it back to us in the future at 30% per kilowatt hour at night. Now, that doesn't really fill me with excitement, but if you're a government bean counter, 
That's a great way to do business. Get something for free and sell it back to the suckers that gave it to you for 30 cents a kilowatt hour. Now, how do I know this? I know people that work rather closely with the government on projects in Brisbane. So the outcome of all that will be that very soon there will be no rebate on solar. And some of these people are telling me that it's less than two years away before they eliminate all rebates. And then we'll be using our power if we've got solar panels during the day and buying back power at night from the batteries that we charge during the day. So I think it's all well and good at the moment, but at some point we're all going to have to make the decision whether we go the step further and put batteries on our house and become our own power generating station and disconnect from that system as well as the banking industry. Uh, still rebates at the moment there is. Yeah. Um, Martin's just said, is there still rebates on residential batteries? And at the moment there is. So I had a, a friend in town here who um, has just given me a link to a website where you can buy them at wholesale prices. So here we go. There was a function in Dubai not too long ago, about 10 days ago, something like that. And these are screenshots of a potential recording with lots of information on them. And I think it really, I've tried to simplify it down because if we get bogged down in the detail, we will just lose the plot. So here we are. These are the markets that this business will impact the most. So you've got a cryptocurrency, power, real estate, and travel. Now, those four segments actually encompass a vast amount of business opportunities coming and going, but they're big numbers, 94 billion, 43 billion, 11 billion, 636 billion. This business is going to disrupt all of that. Absolutely and totally, all of it. So what does that mean for us? Well, we're at least out in front of the pack and we will turn that advantage into an outcome for us, for ourselves. Here is Mr. Werner Kaiser talking about the city system and what they've done. So they've listed it already on the Nomo app and Zanique Swap, and it will be in the central exchange very soon. So you'll be able to actually trade them in the app as soon as the trade bridge is finalised, and they're very close to having that done. It will come through very soon. Now, once that's in our app, we will no longer be required to go to other exchanges to do swaps and things that we want to do. We can turn some of the currencies we've got into cash or into whatever type of currency the person you're trying to pay really wants. And we'll have more information on that very soon, like in a few minutes. They are one of the exchange assets. So the NOMO tokens will be listed in the exchange. And as soon as they're tradable, we can go for it. Now, the swap screen you've got in the back there, let me get my, see if I can get my laser pointer working again. Turn on laser pointer over here. That swap screen is live right now. And I can go in and I have gone in and done a transaction. The problem that I had when I did the transaction that I chose to do, the values were wrong. Now, I only did $1.80's worth of transaction. So 
I was happy to do it. And then I could do screenshots and send it into the support crew. So they had an idea of what we were talking about when we said it doesn't work. So it is actually working as we speak. And there will be a lot more in there very soon. It's getting bigger and bigger by the day. So this is a little bit of information about the company and the founder. So the city business was founded in 2021. But you can see by the dates in that green bar across the bottom, the owner of City, who is, it's a single director company and owned by one person. He actually successfully started his first business in 2003 and has been really flying along with his businesses since then. So in 2011, he started renting space for rooms. I did the first Bitcoin ATM in Austria in 2016, 2017. He founded uh, DOS Coinway GmbH. So that's basically the Coinway company. So you could swap into cash or into other coins. And in August 2020, started the preparations for the city project. Now, that's pretty impressive when you think all of those things that are in that green bar there are part of now all those things that he learned, all the skills that he grew and, and sharpened are now all in use in the city project. So he's had a really long history of success. This is the guy that owns the project and started it. And we have come along right at the right time. So this is not just a startup thinking, let's hope this works. He has a business model that is already working and is already in place. Now, what will that do for us? This is pretty amazing statistics. 25% of the profits of the city project will be used to run the project. So maintenance, rates, electricity, water, all those sorts of things will be taken care of by 25% of the profits. The other 75% of the profits, now this is just not off renting the rooms out, it's from everything that's there, the catering, the rentals, everything that's there. 75% of those profits will go into purchasing tokens, city tokens, on the open market and burning them. And that's going to mean there's going to be a lot less tokens in the marketplace in a couple of years. That can only do one thing to the price, and that's push it up. I love that when a plan comes together. So the buyback of the tokens will have a big impact. And here's a graph that Werner talks about where the yield is based on the revenue. Now you can see on the left, he's got revenue there for the project. And on the right, it's EBIT data earnings before interest and taxes, et cetera. So the bottom on the right where Vern is standing, the bottom little cubes are expenses and the gold line is what ordinarily you would expect to earn from that. What they're predicting will happen is the gold and then the blue line, the green, sorry, and then the blue line. So the revenue from this project is going to be large because there's also plans to grow it into other locations. That's going to make a massive difference. And these graphs are done using historical figures. So they're not making the numbers up. They're actually historical figures that they have put together and then extrapolated them out at the same rates, et cetera. Now, that makes 
a massive difference when you look at that graph. And we're going to benefit from that in a roundabout way, but we are going to directly benefit from the growth of the tokens. That's where we come in. Then he moved on to Avanoc. And look, there were a number of slides I could have taken here. But effectively, they're talking about the coin price going from what it is today to at the next step, it will jump up to $1 per token. I think at the moment it's about 35, 40 cents. And then the next level is $10 per token. And those numbers are in the process of being achieved, particularly the one at the bottom. It's very close to hitting that trip level. Then you get to the 200 euro cycle. See the, the big one here, the top, it'll make it the top one of the top five tokens in this marketplace. 200 US dollars per token. That's a big growth curve. And that's what they're predicting will happen because they compared it with a whole lot of other tokens that have gone through the same process and where they ended up. And that $200 per token is very conservative. So I'm pretty excited by that. I wasn't all that excited about the Avanoc token because it's a behind the scenes project, whereas VU is out the front. It's in the public. So that is the potential to go from where we're at now. And he's talking about getting to that $200 mark in a couple of years. I'm going to be a happy camper, I can tell you, if they do. Even if they get to $10, I'm going to be happy. Very happy. So then we got on to Tupan. If, by the way, if there's any questions that come up as we're going along, just type in a question. Tupan is really impacting the market more than I thought it would. I suspected and talked about regularly that this will make a big difference, but I didn't grasp how big big was. When you look at what they're achieving, with the interest levels from customers, it's astounding. It is really changing the way freight is viewed and the way essential services are viewed because it ticks some boxes that regular drones or even helicopters can't achieve. You can put 500 kilos of fuel in the lift bay of this thing and at 840 kilometres get it somewhere in a hurry and then send it home. That's just amazing. We need to actually attempt to see if we can get one of these things out here sooner rather than later. Is what they're talking about has attracted attention. Regular drones are limited by batteries, which thereby limits their range. They're limited in bad weather. They're limited in payload capacity, seriously limited. And they have difficulty in manoeuvring carefully. All of those issues are dealt with by the T-drone. And think about that impact if you can decide to send medical supplies or fuel or something like that to someone 200 kilometres away and get the thing back after having done the delivery in half an hour, that's going to change some things. It's fast, it's durable, it's weatherproof. Amazing. They are amazing. We've got to get one out here. I think Bob and I might have to go and test drive one somewhere. 
So that is going to really change the way we view the world because that can change delivery. We're out west on the weekend and on a property that was owned by my great-grandfather, and one of their issues, as always, is feral animals coming onto the property. They've got foxes coming in to kill their lambs and pigs that come in and dig up their crops. These drones will make a massive difference to that. So let's get amongst that. Then Mr. Werner got on to Tupan and carbon pricing. And this slide, the first, it went through on what I was watching and I really read it and then thought later, did I read that right? And I had to go back and do it again. This slide is showing you the price in a metric tonne of carbon from 2018 to now. 2018 to now, from 10 euros to 90 euros. That's a nine-fold increase in five years. That is a stupid price rise. And we're right in the middle of all that with our tokens, our AU uh, Forest AU tokens in the in the fund and our two pan community tokens because they are the driver and the supporter of the actual carbon credit. And boy, isn't that going to make it a massive difference when these situations start to get ironed out by technology we've brought to the marketplace? Here's Verna talking about the vending pool. The first round was a complete success. 1,600 people joined. So they got 11 million coupon, uh, two pans into the pool in less than five days. It's the first ever pool based on a real tradable asset. So there were some limitations placed on this just to ensure the proper system functionality and the economical health of the pool. And as I suggested at the time, this will be cut off for a while and they will make sure they've got all those issues ironed out before there's 100 million two pans in there. But the current deposit that was put in was a complete success. And if you've put two pans in and you're waiting to see if you didn't already get the confirmation, you may be held over for the second deposit. Don't panic. The price is still going to go up. Now, I'm going to hazard a guess, if you're watching the price of two pans in public, that you can see that the two pan price is down a bit, uh, less than one cent. I am not at all perturbed by that because everyone raced in and bought two pans to put in the vending pool. Now they're waiting to see what's the next step with the vending pool. So there's not many people buying again. So we may uh, step in and buy a few more this week. We'll just see how the week goes. The big thing to remember is the vending pool has a guaranteed floor price. 3.69 cents, 3.69. So it's almost, it's way too difficult to lose money because the 3.69 cents is the price we use to calculate our payback time on the minting license. And if you purchased the minting license when it was at 110%, I think the payback period is eight months. That's pretty damn fine. I would like to have a few more things like that in my life. But when he finished speaking about this, Berner then moved on to the link between the two-pan community token, which we hold and mint, 
and the Forest AU Green Investment Fund and its tokens. Now, this was actually a pretty cool way that he did it. There's their overall roadmap, and you can see the TCT is highlighted in light blue or green, depending on where you look at it on the, on the screen. So we're minting tokens. They go out into the system, go into the vending pool, et cetera. That all becomes part of what makes the investment fund work. And they all go together. So both of those systems work together to support each other. Without one or the other, it's difficult to make the system work. And we happen to have the one in the middle, the TCT, that makes all the credits work. So we're in a good space. They work completely hand in hand. I've not seen any other system where they've tied this together so well and remembering all the time that that vending pool at the bottom there has a guaranteed floor price. Then he got on to a lighthearted subject talking about the strategic cooperation between Zanik and Ramzik and Sophia. So the current status of the Zanik Ramzik cooperation is 25 employees in Dubai, 80 developers globally. They have really a whole lot of technology experts in their system. I sent another a group here in Brisbane that are blockchain participants. I sent them an invite to the um, project in South America. And we'll see if they get keen enough to make an application because there's up to 100,000 US in prizes given away every year at that event. It's an entirely strategic cooperation. So each part of this system has its own roadmap and its own headline technology centre to achieve. So Ramsey is absolutely just about the technology and the programming. Zenik is the blockchain. Sophia is the people. So... They also announced that Ramsey finally got granted their license in Dubai to have an, ex an exchange. So they do a real exchange. They now have all the licenses that they need and they're fully regulated. So this license basically says you can operate a cryptocurrency exchange and swap crypto into cash or whatever and make it work so that because you've been audited and everything adds up. Now that is very good because that means all of the licensing is complete for their group of companies, for the, all the companies in the cooperation. Then we got on to the global hub delivery. And I know this has been a sore point for a lot of people. They're finally uh, basically ramping up to a steady production model and they're shipping around 2,000 hubs per month. So they think it'll take six or seven months to clear the backlog. Now, I know we've had dates before where they're expecting to clear the backlog, but now they're actually shipping hubs. So the other bit of information he put out was that only 10% of the users that had the option chose to exchange to a digital hub. Now, he also went on in this exercise to talk about the fact that they really want people to have the physical hubs because that decentralizes everything. If everyone's got a digital hub and it's on one data store, it's not decentralized. But by having physical hubs like the devices that we most of us have ordered, it's completely decentralized because they're being sent all over the place. 
And that will make a massive difference with anything should happen. And we didn't know when we started this exercise that people were going to start throwing rocks at each other in Europe. So, and another thing that I came to mind when I was listening to this was I, through family connections, was involved in a, an estate just recently where there was a four-wheel drive, relatively new four-wheel drive, two or three months old, and the dealer has offered to buy this car back from the estate at the money that was paid for it because there's now more than a year's wait to get one because of the chips. And I know my sister bought a Subaru, I think, something like that, yeah, just recently, and it took her 18 months to get her car. And they told her every month that it arrived this month. So if we can get 2000 a month shipped, catch up on the backlog, I'll be a happy camper. Here's some more features that they're implementing. There are lots of things coming and more assets being listed because there are lots of, you can see down the bottom already listed, regardless, two pan cities and eight and the euro coin upcoming listings are t drone and then there's two new projects there which he basically said and two new projects and didn't talk about it because he doesn't want anyone to know what they are yet but they're working on them and then they'll be listing everything else like bitcoin ethereum all assets that are listed in the nomo app will be in that hub and it will be a live exchange so you can convert all of that to cash instantly on your hub or you can move it to somewhere else pay for things with it it's a very cool project great to be a part of it now this next slide i don't want anyone to start jumping up and down and clapping in case you cut yourself off but the debit card see the date down the bottom right hand side it will be shipped July 2022. So there's two suppliers now, Zanique.cards, which is already in the system. And there's a new supplier that's going to be shipping cards as well to try and catch up. And there are different cards that you can get. And the highest one, I think the platinum limit is 1 million euros per month of turnover. If I get to there, I'll be rather happy. But these cards are now ready for shipment worldwide. And I shall set myself up and go and order one. So I can't remember if I've ordered one or not. I ordered one in the one of the websites. I'll have to check on that. So yeah, woohoo, Martin. Pretty excited about that because that's going to take us into the realms of being completely outside of the um, banking system. And the other thing that's going into the hubs is a virtual IBAN number. So any bank can transfer money to that IBAN number. They won't know what it is. It will just appear. And that's going to make life a whole lot easier for us particularly with how um, the banks are reacting to cryptocurrency. They're fighting really hard to stop people using it. And what they don't understand is they're making it more reasonable for people to move away from the banks. And I don't feel sorry for them at all. So the Nomo app is becoming bigger than we thought. Even when I first started hearing about it, I was amazed at what they were talking about. And now they're talking about even more stuff. So the messenger is live in the system now. It is the beta version. It's 100% decentralized. Uh, video, 
I don't know that I've tried the video calls. I looked at it the other day, and I think the camera is there now. But voice calls I've done, and it works reasonably well. And Martin's saying the iPhone version is still buggy. That's possibly true. And it's not certainly not rock stable in the Androids either. But it does everything in that messenger side that you use 17 other apps for, and there's no scammers in it because they all have to be Zanique members. How cool is that? I was talking to someone on Telegram today and said, oh, that's his, his um, platform of choice rather than trying to use this. And I said, well, how many contacts a day do you get from people trying to sell you some Ponzi scheme? And he said, oh, a couple. It's just ridiculous. So completely decentralised, that's what I love about it. There will be no reason for people to use another app once they get used to using this. They get a few bugs out of it, it's going to be very cool. So going into the Nomo app, in July, the trading pairs will go live, Zanique coins, the Zanique Ethereum tokens, the Zanique BNB tokens, the smart chain tokens, and the Euro coin will all become swappable next month. So the swapper staked Avanoc NFTs, the Ethereum ones, to Avanoc Zen20 tokens next month. Avanoc Ethereum to Avanoc Zen20, supposedly this month. I tried it today and it didn't work, so it can't be far away because this is only a few days old. And the next important listings are the Regardless and T-Drone stuff and the SGI once they start minting. SGI coins are the coins you get paid for in the career levels now. So you can sell them immediately on the app if you just want the money, or you can hold them and get monthly revenue from those tokens. I'm leaning towards holding them and see how many of them I can collect. Many swap pairs are being added, and they talked about that on the, on the function. Now, here is something I didn't know was happening. He's talking about, do you know what the app store is? And you can see the dot points there on the left. The end of summer 23 in their hemisphere, liquidity providing for Zanique Swap is directly on the Nomo app. So if you need cash, you can do it right on the app. So it's easy for everyone to do. And then by the end of 23, the Nomo app is being prepared to become a global platform for blockchain applications. That's very cool. So they're giving third-party programmers the ability to connect to the blockchain with their own project. Now, guess what that's going to do for us? Every time there's a transaction on the blockchain, our tokens improve in price every single time. So this is going to change what we know about now. And yes, it's completely global. That's a little bit about what the um, uh, Zencon in South America talks about where they get all the programmers together and say, try this, try this, this is how you connect it to the blockchain. It is very cool. And they're effectively saying that the Nomo app will become the app store of phones. It will hold applications and they will be linked to your phone. A decentralized blockchain platform. I don't know how to access that. All I know is how to drive it at my end because it's in the Nomo app. The Zanique swap, we're talking more about that. 
the smart chain tokens will be there. Two pans there. I love Sophia and Avanox N20 will all go live this month, apparently. And listings in preparation, City, Regardless, T-Drone and SGI after the trade, trade bridge is finalised. And that's going to be... The Zanique Exchange will be linked to the swap and to the Nomo app. Some of those on that screen there are already there in place, but there's a lot more coming. And once this trade bridge is finalised and you can convert it into cash, I can't see why people will use other exchanges because the fee structure in this is so cheap. It's stupid cheap compared to going somewhere and swapping Ethereum. It is stupid cheap. I tried to do something a while back, just a few weeks ago, uh, pay for something with Ethereum I, that I have left over in my wallet and I hate it, so I'm trying to get rid of it. I went to pay with Ethereum and it was like $12 or $13 and the gas fee was the same. So I got the dirts with that and I swapped it into a token on Zanik Swap and paid that way and it cost me about 30 ten thousandths of a cent. Stupidly low amount. They really got this by the throat. Now, remember, they've listed two pan Zenic coins and Avanoc on Bitmart and other places. And they're planning to list City, regardless, T Drone, and SGI. All of those things will be public. And so if anyone says to you, how come I've never heard of it? Well, do a search on any one of those names and it will come up. I've traded on Bitmart. I've traded Zanik coins and Avanoc and Tupan on the Bitmart exchange already. And they work well. Notice over here, this is coming soon. They're going to allow us, if you've got a lot of Zenit coins, they're going to allow us to swap Zenit coins for product coupons. So you might want to buy uh, a T-Drone minting license and, and you've got a whole pile of Zenit coins. You can swap those coins into a minting license. It doesn't say how long, but uh, it's not there yet, but it'll be in there in the next few days. And they're swapping them at 100% above the market price. So whatever the public price for the Zenit coins is, they're going to let you swap them into a product coupon at twice that price, which is nice. Now, here's one that really freaks a lot of people out, NFTs. And in this speech, he talks about the fact that NFTs have been a joke. But these guys are doing it such they're starting out with art. There's three Picassos that are ready now that they're going to convert into NFTs. So you will own a piece of that artwork for every NFT that you hold. Now, the reason they're NFTs is they're not fungible. So you can't, if it's a, if the NFT is worth 50 bucks, you can't buy a cup of coffee with it and get the change. It's a $50 token. And it's backed by the asset that it's linked to. So that's a nice change that goes along with everything else that we're doing. What's coming next? Simple, straightforward KYC. Now they've really token, taken this to a great point because there's no data transfer. So what they're saying is the new Zen ID will create a token and you can, if you go to a, a bank, for example, and the bank says, we need 100 points of ID, you give them one of these tokens. None of your data is in that token because it's verified by the Zanik blockchain before it creates the token. That's very cool. 
because that way you haven't got 10,000 copies of your driver's license spread all over the internet. That's a unique process. No data transfer. It's about time we had something like that. So we're just about at the end. Remember, don't forget about the fast start bonus if you get somebody started and they want to do something, they can earn double the money. And but when they get to Sapphire, they end up with an invite to Dubai and 500 euros of airline accommodation and hotel accommodation and all that sort of stuff. It's a very good little bonus. How is our world going? I've talked to people repeatedly about the housing market and what they think is going to happen here. Lots of people predicting it's going to crash. Lots of people predicting it won't. I can't see how it can crash when we've got all these construction companies going broke and there's a housing shortage in here in southeast Queensland anyway. A new uh, chat through webinar about the central bank digital currencies and what that's going to do. This guy is saying it's worse than you thought. This is the money GPS and all these links will be in the description on YouTube. And here these two guys are talking about uh, inflation is going to balloon again. And this is from the Wealthy on channel. So bankrupt banks, crypto assets failing, but Zanique assets are backed. Turmoil in the financial sector, gold going to who knows where. Luckily, we have good news on our platform. So why are we doing this? It's the shortest route to get out of the banking system. We're all keen to get ourselves independent of the banks. And if you're not afraid of the central bank digital currencies, you should be. Get started with a minimal amount to set you up on the path to freedom. It is that simple. 100 euros, 188 euros, you can get started and just keep building on it as time goes by. Remember, folks in the Ukraine, there's people throwing rocks at each other, and what's been happening there in the last week has been sad. So nobody knows who's on whose side, and it's not getting better anytime soon as far as I can see. So that's it for us tonight, folks. We went a bit longer than I hoped to do, but if there's any questions, I'm happy to answer them. Don't see any questions. Thanks, everybody, for coming. Payday looks like being here soon. Yes, indeed. We are getting closer and closer to a big payday. And I think we're all pretty excited by that. So thanks again, ladies and gentlemen, for coming. Look forward to it every Monday night. Next Monday night, there won't be a webinar because I'll be away. and I'll be on the road, so it'll be a little bit difficult to host one. So I will send out more information, though, next week. Thanks, everybody, for joining us. We look forward to seeing you on the golden beaches of the world. Have a great night.